We have often heard of the fruit of the Spirit. Paul, the Apostle Paul talked about that in Galatians. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Today we look at how Peter explains it. And the Apostle Peter talks about the same thing, but uh, in a rather unique way. Usually we hear about the domino effect being something that is negative, but uh, Apostle Peter brings it to us in a positive way. Second Peter, chapter one, verse three. His divine power has given us everything we need for life and godliness through our knowledge of him who called us by his own glory and goodness. Through these, he has given us his very great and precious promises so that through them you may participate in the divine nature and escape the corruption in the world caused by evil desires. For this very reason, make every effort to add to your faith goodness, and to goodness knowledge, and to knowledge self-control, and to self-control perseverance, and to perseverance godliness, and to godliness brotherly kindness, and to brotherly kindness love. For if you possess these qualities in increasing measure, they will keep you from being ineffective and unproductive in your knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ. For if anyone does not have them, he is nearsighted and blind and has forgotten that he has been cleansed from his past sins. So the domino effect in a positive way presents us with a picture of love. And the end product is beautiful instead of negative. Let's see how it works. The world's way seems to tear people down and to increase hostility and increase hate and increase evil. The Bible tells us that as the time of the second coming approaches, the love of most will grow cold. That's why it's important for us to, as Peter told us, make every effort to add the fruit of the Spirit. Make every effort to grow in love and this can be the vital witness of all the church during a time when the love of most of the world will grow cold. What can we do then to increase our love and devotion? Well, we need to reflect upon that in our own lives, of course, and have the Holy Spirit apply it to us individually. But I suggest also that you look into God's word and you find out what is in there that matches up and follow it and then the things in the world that don't match up with god's word let's abandon those let's go away from those let's go toward christ jesus and his love in us will grow and our witness and our lives will be more joyful and uh, give glory to god